What's going on, everybody? Judd Burden here with Asphalt Kingdom. Man, I have a secret special surprise for you guys today. Uh, the man himself, Justin Rogers, founder of Forever Self-Employed. One of the things I'll tell you about this awesome guy is that we're really aligned in helping people achieve greatness in their life, building their own businesses, and keeping yourself forever self-employed. Justin Rogers, welcome, brother. Hey, thank you so much for the uh, introduction, Judd. Happy to be here, and I'm happy that we could come together and kind of uh, help as many people out as possible. Bingo, bango, lighthouse, ping it forward. I love it. Okay, I've got a few questions for you. Do you mind if I ask these questions to hopefully help introduce you to our audience here? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Awesome. So forever self-employed, there's got to be some history prior to actually setting up that YouTube channel that has almost 400,000 subscribers now. Yeah, absolutely. 400,000. Um, so I had been, I've tried pretty much every side also that you can think of besides some of the asphalt maintenance stuff that you guys do. Like, um, I flipped cars. I had a pressure washing business, landscape business. I had a mobile concession business. I, um, uh, we've done it all vending machine business. So I was in all these different businesses and uh, I noticed that people were starting to get views on YouTube with regards to pressure washing. I think it was actually, I think it was vending first. So people were getting views along vending. Like they were like emptying their machines, taking all the cash out. And I said, man, I do all this already. So I started recording myself doing that. And then I saw people getting views with pressure washing. And I was like, I'm pressure washing pretty much like every other day. So I started filming myself doing that. And slowly but surely, the channel just kind of evolved into documenting all the different side hustles that I was doing, sharing that with other people and sharing the things that I was learning along the way and kind of telling the stories of acquiring customers, the things that went bad, the things that I tried that didn't go good at all. And uh, just my personal experience with uh, trying to remain forever self-employed and, you know, um, just on the quest to work for myself uh, for forever and never rely on anybody else for that. So that's pretty much it, man. And and you're and you're you're forever self-employed. Yeah, absolutely. I haven't you know I haven't worked for anybody for uh, close to like I don't even know eight years now. So uh, I'm not I'm not super old, but I think that's pretty much an, an accomplishment. I think my last job was uh, I worked for a, a landscape company, and uh, after I worked for the landscape company, I really wanted to dive into pressure washing. I was like, man, I think I could figure this out. And so slowly but surely, man, I just started testing things out and doing some different things. I wish I would have started my YouTube channel a couple years uh, prior because me and my dad were flipping trucks at the time. And um, we had some crazy scenarios that I didn't necessarily get to document, but um, everything happens right on time. So here we are. <laughs> now you're also on TikTok as well. You've grown a, you've grown a lot of followers there too, right? Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, How many so followers? We got, uh, I think about 230,000, 250, somewhere around there. Dude. The funny thing about TikTok is I don't even, I don't even put much stock into it. I was just playing around one day and uh, I made a video on how to start a pressure washing business in under a minute. And um, the video did like, I think it's like 5 million views now or something. And I was like, okay, I think I've dialed in on something that works here. And so I just started recreating it over and over and over because there was nobody in the service industry space that was really creating content for service industry people and the cool thing is is if you're not in the service industry you can kind of get a look into it and see um what kind of makes people tick you know that buying process and things like that i'm getting some calls here so that's awesome that. yeah because you're busy man you got all kinds of stuff ringing in i love it man that's what happens right when you're ever when you're forever self-employed you better be having those calls roll it in for somebody that's actually considering getting involved with a service-based business right now whether it's asphalt whether it's press or pressure washing whether it's painting striping whatever it may be what would be your best piece of advice when somebody's kind of at that you know, that learning stage or that, that, that stage where they're doing a little bit of discovery, whether or not it's something that's applicable to them, something they like, what's your best advice for someone? Right. So I, I always tell people to start with your friends and family first. Like a lot of people want to get into the pressure washing business and they're like, I want to quit my job. I want to get out of this. I want to go full time into pressure washing. And they've never even done anything at all. And I'm like, look, leverage your friends and family first, go and do some free jobs for them, figure out your equipment, figure out how you how you do quoting, figure out some of the marketing techniques that you have to start implementing, how you're going to talk with the customer. Like there's so many different facets to what we do. And there's so many things to learn in the beginning. So leverage the people that you know, first and foremost, to get the experience under your belt, as well as see if it's anything that you even want to do full time. Um, so that's what I would say, leverage who you know, first and just get that experience, you know? 
It's such a good piece of advice, man. Like when we're training on our, our sales stuff with some of our clients, what we talk about is prospecting, like people, you know, people, your people know, and then cold calling. And let me tell you the people that, you know, you'd be amazed at right out of the gate, how many clients are going to pick up just with people that, you know, are you finding that that's kind of creating the momentum that then moves into the next stage of people that your people know referral? Absolutely. And it's all about top of mind marketing, right? So that's my big thing. It's like, how do we stay in front of the people that we know? How do we get, how do we initially get out of the gate and tell everyone that we know, but then how do we stay in front of them over time? Because some of these services people might not necessarily need out of the gate, but if they know someone that needs them, like we need to be in front of them and be top of mind. So that way, whenever they get that notification that says, Hey, do you know somebody in my area that does X, Y, Z? You're the first person that pops into their mind. Because essentially this is something that uh, I've talked about before, but if like we have 500 friends and if our each of our friends has like a thousand friends, that's like 500,000 people. All you have to do is get in front of 500 people and then you're technically getting in front of 500,000 as long as you can stay in front of those people, you know? Yeah. And that's creating the momentum right out of the gate to like really knock things out of the park with new customers. But then in the service-based business, you're building a lifelong customers. Like you should be focusing on nurturing accounts and making sure that, you know, if like asphalt maintenance for seal coating and striping every two to three years, you can have that same account coming in. You're literally on year three. You can have a self-sustainable business that provides you a life that's excellent. Excellent. You know, and that, that to me is something so exciting. It it's, it's interesting to watch the younger generations right now seeing service-based businesses as being exciting again. And, right. you know, there was, there was such a, a long period before, the, you know, the pandemic hit and stuff where it was like, no, nah, man, we'll just, you know, we'll just pound on the keyboard and we'll, you know, follow in, scroll Instagram feeds and just kind of do that and look for, you know, look for opportunities to be some kind of an influencer or whatever. And now it's like, I'm proud to leave home clean and come home dirty. And I can tell you, dude, like I, I feel, I feel, I felt when I was in the asphalt maintenance service business, when I would go out clean and come home dirty with pockets filled with money, I felt so good. And that, that feeling is awesome, right? Absolutely. Like that end of the day, you've worked hard, you got money in your pocket. There's no other feeling like that. And I think it kind of goes back to like, I used to have a slogan that I was like making work cool again, like becoming an entrepreneur and like doing these endeavors is now cool, right? Because we've, we've documented the process and people can see. It. Um, so that's one of the coolest parts. And like, and, and to your point, if you have enough business to fill up a year, at least in uh, what I do, like pressure washing and, and things like that, all you have to do is just rotate those people over every single year. And then you, what you could do is bring on new customers that pay you more and, and, you know, put the ones to the side that pay you less and you can always be building your books higher and higher. Essentially, that's what we all aim for, right? Get that recurring customer base and fill the year. Yeah, you got to break, break outside of the consistent average into building and scaling your business into an extraordinary business that provides you with an incredible lifestyle. I mean, that's, that's the thing, right? And, and I'm excited about this, man. And I hope that as you're watching this, I hope that you're able to see the passion that comes out of Justin and I here and really hopefully it helps push you forward in starting your very own service-based business, whatever it may be. Of course, Asphalt Kingdom's in the asphalt maintenance niche and we'd love to get you started. But no matter what it is that you choose, we really want you to thrive and succeed in your life straight up. That's like, that's why we're here doing this right now, you know? Right. Absolutely. And that's one of the toughest parts of being successful in a service business is there's so many different facets to like the marketing or customer acquisition or um, things that happen downline, nurturing the customer and that stuff that we were talking about before this call, even like there's a lot of things to learn. And if you look to guys like Judd and, and you look and you watch some of these things, you can pick up on those things and you can kind of learn from what he's doing currently. Yeah, man. Well, hey, listen, right here next to you, man, you're doing an incredible job reaching so many people, helping so many people. If somebody is on the fence right now of getting started, of like teeter-tottering on that fence, I know, of course, they could go and, and do some stuff with their family and people they know. But like, I know my advice is, but I want to know if somebody's on the fence right now, yeah, what would you say? To, what would you tell them to do? Straight up. I like said, I would find the quickest way to cash is like something that we've always said, right? So, um, if I'm on the fence, it depends on how hungry you are, right? If you have a full-time job and everything's okay, like you might not be that hungry to go out and do something different. But if you're sick of the way things are, you're going to make things happen no matter what. So for me, um, I was sick of working for people. My dad had a pressure washer in the garage. I didn't think about what pressure washer I, I should get. I didn't think about how much I should charge. I just grabbed his pressure washer. I started, I got a, a, a stack of flyers and I just started hitting neighborhoods. So if you're on the fence, 
either take the leap or settle for where you're at. I think it's a certain type of person who's going to go out and work for themselves and figure out a way to make it happen. Um, but at the end of the day, we can't make that choice for them. All we can do is be good examples of uh, what happens when you do take that leap of faith and you, and you, you know, follow it through. We've had tough times, Judd, I'm sure you've had uh, some incredibly hard times and gone through a, a lot of different things. And like I said, it takes a certain person to be successful. So take a look in the mirror. Am I that person? If not, you know, we still need people to work uh, day jobs every day, you know, like when we go to the store, we want people there. Right. So anyway, dude, dude, that is, I, I can't say that any better. Like if you're watching this video, just rewind that last little section and watch that like 20 times straight up, because that's the golden advice right there. You're either happy or you're looking to become more happy. And so it's really in, it's really in your hands. Right. And I can tell you as an entrepreneur, as somebody who has built my own businesses and that I have teams of people working with me, I would never change what it is that I made the decision to do that one day when I grabbed a five gallon pail of sealer, went up to the door and knocked and said, hi, my name is Judd with Imperial Asphalt Maintenance. I'd love the opportunity to be able to seal coat your driveway, protect it from the sun, fill in all the cracks in your driveway, save you a Sunday from getting seal coat all over your feet. And I'll be out of your hair in no time, about 45 minutes. How much is it? $250. Thank you so much. That bucket cost me nine bucks. That right there is starting your own business. You can too, 100%. Justin Rogers, let's stay forever self-employed. I hope you do too. Thank you so much for your time, bro. I really, really appreciate it from the whole team here. Absolutely, man. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me on, Judd. Cool, brother. See you in a bit.